you know what? Someone needs to show this picture to Stephen A. Smith. In fact, this picture needs to get shown to all Eminem fans. See, what I've noticed over the years, when it comes to giving Nazis flowers, there's a tension in the room. <laughs> Stephen, you're a hater. You know why I say you're a hater, yeah? Because 30 years ago when Illmatic dropped, you was 26, and you was a sports writer at the Philadelphia Inquirer. So you was definitely into hip-hop. Don't lie, Stephen, I know you was. You probably tried to rap yourself. People, you know what this is. It's your boy Nemo, and I'm back with another big YouTube vid. And on this channel, we deal with everything from music and manosphere, and entertainment too. And as always, I gotta come with my BS. So let's go. I'm taking rappers to a new plateau Through rap slow, my rhyming is a vitamin Held without a capsule The smooth criminal on B-breaks Never put me in your box if your shit eats tapes I know when someone comes into the game and elevates it It can be bittersweet, trust me And I know you felt that impact back in 1994, Stephen You with your 26 year old self I know you felt that impact With my testosterone, male hormone Enough for a giant's body Yeah, we all felt that impact so there's no denying his impact on the culture. Furthermore, there's no denying his impact on music. Cause really and truly, he changed the way people rapped. Remember, he influenced him. You don't believe me? Well, just look at him. My man looks starstruck, and in my humble opinion, the student is yet to topple the teacher. Now, man's not dick riding, that's not what we do. But I've always been a big man, I can give credit where credit is due. I remember bumping into Paul Ross in a restaurant one time and I, was, I started waving at him and I remember the look that he gave me boy. That's when I said to myself, I'll never ever run down a celebrity if I see them. But then again, I bumped into gigs and at that time I was doing some magazine thing and he gave me his number. You know the thing turned out to be some ghost number. I went to go and dial it and the thing wasn't even there. Anyway, back to the rubbish that Stephen A. Smith was talking. Bro, bro, I know you know better. You know how many quotables this nigga's got. Pimpy the year, I can smack your father. Not only with my hand, but with a black revolver. Come on, broski. And that was only 13 years ago. Listen, let me just make one thing clear. I'm not trying to take nothing away from Slim, you know. Slim is a phenomenal MC. But he hasn't got that je ne sais quoi. Did I say that right? Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. M ain't got that. M's on the same level as Basta. Those two are an even match. Yeah. Skill set and everything. M and M and Basta Rhymes would have been a great versus. But they both got that off the wall comical sense of humour. But trust me, if you used to speak to both cats, they'll tell you themselves they're not on Mr. Jones's level. And you know this, Stephen. Everybody knows this. Why are you playing games? Stop playing games. Stop hating, cause the hate is real, and everybody feels jealousy. I know fair years on top is hard for some people to live with. My niggas are ignorant, put lead in your pavement, just for all the days y'all were mad I was getting it. And I know jealousy is a big thing amongst black men, but deep down inside we all think we're the shit. Hey, yo, we trapped in our own brain, fuck behind bars, we've already gone insane, they've already gave up. Cut our own heads off, stab our own backs and dream too much without fulfilling reality. Now I know what people are going to say. They're going to say, he got asked the question and all he did was just answer. But he knew what the right answer was. Because he's a 56 year old African American male. He knew what the right answer was. Now you can expect it from the shady fan base. Because shady fan base are a different kettle of fish. They're not part of the culture and they don't want to be. And that's fair enough. But Steven, you know the real, my boy. Don't try and rewrite history. I would be Ivy League if America played fair. And right now you're not playing fair, Steven. Because you know Illmatic is one of those albums that we're going to send out into space. Or one of those albums we'll put in a time capsule, right? Right? Come on, man, you must know that. People, if you like the content man's licking out on a daily basis, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you, man, on the next video. Peace.